Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm here today to do a reading to take a look at the dominant energies for this week and see how you can use those in ways that are really productive and enjoyable for you and create good outcomes in your life. Well, we have a very balanced week this week. All of the energies that we normally play in, the earth, the air, the fire, the water, and spirit, are present in this reading. That doesn't always happen. So I want you to know that first and foremost, this week is about enjoying all of who you are, not just some narrow parts of you that have to tend to this or that, or like to come out and play this or that, but every part of you gets to be on stage this week. One of the things that this week is really geared toward is success. So make sure that you're doing things that you know you need to get done, doing things that you want to actually get done, and putting your attention toward results that you want. This week, whatever you decide to do, you will succeed at doing. So make sure that the success is something you actually want. This is also a week where your ideals are at play. Um, know that sometimes when our, our ideals are what we're looking through, we have a tendency to gloss over the reality of a situation. So it's important to ground yourself well this week and make sure that you're seeing what's real if you're going to make any long-term decisions. If all you're doing is being in the moment, be in the pure beauty of that moment and just enjoy the perfection of it. But if you are making decisions that are long-term, pause long enough to take off your rose-colored glasses and see what's really going on there before you decide to go in that direction. This is a week where you can be very effective, as shows with the success card too. Effectiveness is in your hands. It can be done alone or with other people. Just make sure that you're setting out to do things that you really want to do. As I've mentioned with all three of these cards, you can get where you're trying to go this week. And so it's highly important that you're very intentional in where you're trying to get to. You don't want accidental success that takes you someplace that you'd rather not be. You want intentional success that takes you places that you'll really enjoy. This is also a week where it's important to look at the details. Be careful to really examine any projects that you're finishing up to make sure that you've got all the last little pieces in place. Be sure to really examine where you're coming from about things. It's an easy week for you to be able to see all that's going on in your own motivations and heading in any direction. Take a good look at those things. When you're coming from motivations that are clear to you, you have a tendency to get the results that you want. This is a week where there's probably going to be a big awakening for you at some point during the week. You'll become aware of something you've been trying to get to for a long time. And that's an exciting thing to have happen. Whether on the surface that awakening appears to be pleasant or unpleasant is immaterial. Take it in stride, be grateful that you're seeing it, whatever it is, and start synthesizing it into yourself. Start bringing it into your being in a way that adds to your beauty this week, because that's really what you deserve. So in summary for the week, 
success is in your hands. Higher levels of self-awareness are in your hands this week. And moving into those things very easily is something that you can do this week. So I want to encourage you to try something new. Try things that maybe people have told you you're not capable of doing. Because this week you are. Have a delightful, playful week.